I represent Health Solutions, a uh, software supplier from, uh, from Sweden. Um, my part in this uh, project has been as technical project manager uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the development of the WBDR. The mission of uh, Health Solutions is to help healthcare organizations to improve uh, your daily work by using what you already have at your disposal, healthcare and patient-generated data. Uh, Health Solutions has been in business since 2000. Um, in our staff, we have a high level of medical competence, uh, all, along with uh, uh, along with technical specialities, such as integration, product development, etc. Uh, as of today, we have around 260,000 patients in our registries. Um, uh, we are present for these real queue applications. We have uh, in around 11 countries for national registries uh, within different disease areas. Hemophilia, of course, but also HIV, hepatitis, immunodeficiency, etc. Uh, and with this global registry, WBDR, uh, there are around uh, more than 50 countries that are interested in, in enrolling data into this registry. Uh, we have also conducted a lot of data analysis projects uh, for pharmaceutical companies. Uh, these studies are both real-world evidence studies, but also hybrid studies. Uh, with hybrid studies here, we, we, uh, we mean that it's studies that are both collected using historical data, but also uh, prospectively gathering data for the study. Uh, we have, uh, our systems are integrated with various types of systems, such as lab, laboratory systems. Uh, primarily in UK, uh, Sweden, and Belgium. Uh, we also have projects at the moment where we gather uh, data directly from the patient, um, so-called PROM, uh, PROM registering, patient-reported outcome measures, and also patient-related experience measurements. Uh, our part of the project is to, to secure that the data is sent in a secure way. Uh, we, have a, we, want, we will be support for uh, data mapping. Uh, the objective is that the WVDR will do the, the mapping and we will support them uh, based on our knowledge uh, from the RealQ platform. Uh, we will also support for preparing data files. And we also have a uh, product manager at Health Solutions, Ida Berzelius, which will uh, assist in this process. And of course, we will also verify the imported data. Uh, and one thing that I was thinking about when we heard uh, previously the speakers in this was the importance to have uh, standards in, uh, in data fields, etc. But this is also an objective for the, for the project, just to see a, uh, to estimate a, uh, a common uh, standard way to, to uh, import data, and also to register data. Um, uh, first of all, we, we uh, need to do in this proof of concept, we need to look into uh, uh, legislation, uh, regulatory implications. Uh, such as data privacy, uh, patient integrity, uh, data security, of course, but also patient consent. And this proof of concept, of course, since it's conducted in Europe, uh, we will comply to, to check legislation as well as the new uh, data law in Europe, GDPR. Uh, this is a... Um, a brief explanation of the process. Uh, what you have from left to right is a, a, uh, a database base, based in uh, a national level. Could be in different forms. It could be a software. It could be a, 
uh, in another data format. Uh, this consists typically of different data fields, data variables. Um, and we also have, on the other side, we want to import data from a national registry into uh, WBDR. We have the same, uh, same situation on the WBDR side. We have a set of data fields with uh, different criteria. And uh, I also, in this picture, want to stress the hemophilia standard. We have the possibility to, uh, to describe what the WBDR looks like uh, for you, other registers, to see how is the, how is the data collected into VBDR. Um, uh, first step is to examine data fields in both registries for interoperability between registries and identify the optimal set of common data fields for an integration. And this is typically done uh, through, the, uh, through the National Quality Register, uh, the CNHPR in Czech Republic, as well as the VBDR, WBDR. What we are doing first is that we are collecting data uh, we have done an export from the WBDR, where we have a list of all the data fields. Um, and we also, have, uh, we have also have added to this document the data field uh, type and the data field type uh, options. Uh, I can have an example of this. For example, the data field location of bleeds. That's the data field. In this data field, we have uh, it's a drop list type, which means that we can have several options to use this data. In the VBDR, typically, uh, the choices, the options are uh, jo uh, joints, muscles, CNS, other. So this is basically what we are doing on the VBDR side. On the other side, we have the check data. Uh, we need to do the same thing for this registry um, to see what is the data fields, what are the types, and what are the different options used in the check registry. Um, the th third step is to, uh, to map these, two, these data fields together. Uh, for example, location of bleeds in the WBDR corresponds to uh, I don't know the exact term at the moment, but position of bleeds, etc. So we need to map these together, that we have the same understanding of what we are using. Uh, the, first, the fourth step is, of course, to, to implement these mapping, these mapping schedules into a, um, a software or a, a, a method or a product that can actually send the data through uh, the check registry into the WBDR. And this, of course, we have mentioned this before, it's based on a pilot set of data. Uh, it is the so-called minimal data set of the WBDR, the data that is existing today. Uh, Based on this, we also need to do an analysis uh, whether the frequency of this import, so this integration, uh, is it to be done monthly or is it to, uh, to be done annually, for example, uh, for the annual reports, or is it something that is more, uh, more frequent. And after conducting this proof of concept study, it is, of course, possible to, to extend this model to other hemophilia registries, um, worldwide, actually. 